Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Being Human podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for clicking on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you listen or watch. Now, listen, the word lost may have resonated with you in this title. We seem to be lost as a culture in a way where we don't really know which way to go, what direction to move to, what would be good for me, would that be good for everybody? Is it selfish to do things for me? Should I always think of the collective? What about what other people think? What if I make a decision now and 10 years from now I look back and it ended up being the wrong one? Should I go left, right, straight? Should I go backwards? Should I stay still? I feel lost right now, so that must mean I'm a loser. How can I possibly feel lost? I have everything I need. I have a house. I have shelter. I'm so ungrateful. And look at everybody else who has their lives together and they have such direction and purpose. I wish I had that. I wish I had that. Any of those thoughts have gone through your mind? I think you're in the right place. I know what it's like to be lost, completely confused, disoriented, where you can't even lean on left and right. You don't even know where they are. You're in the dark. There's nothing to hold you. You're floating in limbo, and you're paralyzed by feeling a little stuck. You know what's funny, everyone? That as a personal coach to some and through this podcast and when I'm on stage, I'm not one to offer you know, direct and rigid solutions. That, that, that can come from the person. I feel like it's my job and I really enjoy validating feelings and making people realize that things aren't the end of the world and where they are right now can actually be a launch pad. And you can rest on that launch pad. You can prepare on that launch pad. You can get your space suit on on that launch pad. You can call friends on that launch pad. You can sleep on the launch pad. You can stay there for as long as you want, really. It's not my job to tell you what to do, but I think in this episode, it's it's um, I'm going to invite you to think about being lost and that feeling a little differently, and I think you'll find comfort in it. How does that sound? Good? All right. So, yeah, that was an intro. Now what do we talk about? <laughs> when we feel lost... It doesn't mean that you're a loser, that you're hopeless, that that you're some kind of of nobody, that you're a reject, that you're yeah un- ungrateful or un- unwilling to change. When you feel lost and you are lost, it means that you're going somewhere. It means that you're moving and you have been moving. Your life isn't stagnant. In fact, when you're lost, it's the complete opposite. How awesome is that to think about? Anyone who has done nothing with their lives and has no aspirations or ambition will rarely feel lost because this isn't really a creative person. The creativity in us, that's the lostness because we're looking for more and we're searching. And you, my friend, are a seeker because a big part about being human is the need to discover and to explore and to leave the shores of home for something new, not necessarily better, but for something new. To see what that's all about, what this is all about, to make sense of the world around us and see how it resonates inside. So you are a seeker. You are an explorer. And every explorer, when they leave a shore, they get lost. We all get lost. And what do you do when you get lost? What do you do if you're out hiking, if you're out in a city, you don't know which way to turn? What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Now, if you're my age or maybe younger, you don't have paper maps anymore. You don't. I remember when I was going through Europe and everywhere I go, when I was in Portugal, when I was in Mexico a few weeks back, I take a compass with me. And I love looking at my compass because I'm like, okay, the hostel's here, the hotel's here. Okay, I know that that's north and here that's pointing north and let's go. I love that analog kind of feeling. And when I backpack, I got lost lost on purpose because it's fun to find your way around. And when you're lost, that's when you get to figure out where you actually are. You know what I'm saying? 
So you can ground yourself in this lostness, but let's go back. What do you do when you're lost? Okay, you're taking out your phone. You're taking out a map. You're seeing how, wh where am I oriented here? But when you take out Google Maps or Apple Maps, whatever it's called, you're never like completely zoomed in. You want to take your index finger, your thumb, or whatever little dinky fingers you use, and you want to pinch your phone. We're such little wussies today with our... I had a bit about that where like there's no such thing as an alpha male today because we all take out our little little air pods and we put them in. Oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Okay, one second. Click and put a little ear... Get your little phone out, all these little devices. Little babies we are. But you take out your phone, you squeeze your little fingers together, and yeah, you get a bird's eye view of where you are. Where am I? If you're lost in the woods, what do you look to your left? Trees. Look to your right. Trees, ferns, bushes, flowers. But if you hold on to some eagle talons and you let the eagle kind of pull you up and you get to look down and okay, so this is where I am. Now what do I want to do? Okay, I see I came from that way. Okay, I see I came southwest. Okay, I did that turn there. Yeah, that's what happened. And then, okay, then, oh, okay, past the pond. And now I'm right here amongst the trees. Mm, I see where. Okay, I see where I went left instead of right. That's okay. Okay. So, depending on where you are in this lost adventure, whether you're at sea, on land, wherever you are, it's important to... Try a few things, maybe even before you zoom out, because zooming out in a larger and bigger sense means like, let's take a real big look at where you are in your life right now. Maybe that's too much right now. You don't need to do that. Before you even look at your map, you find a bench, you sit, you wait. Remember in Lord of the Rings, in the mines of Moria, how Gandalf forgot which tunnel to go down? And he's like, I have no memory of this place. This place. And then he talks with Frodo. He has a little smoke. And then, oh, it's that way. See, using time as your ally is really good in these moments too. Orient yourself, reorient yourself, and really take a look at, okay, this is what I'm surrounded by. These are the choices I can make, but at the same time, take your time. Is there a rush? Sometimes we just need to do what we're, just keep doing what we're doing. And a solution presents itself without us even trying. There's, these, there's the art of not trying. There's sometimes where we put so much effort in like, what are you going to do? Plant a seed and keep digging it up to see if it's grown, right? And we keep pushing it down into the soil and we keep, oh, it's not growing yet. It must be, okay, we got to compact it more. We got to flood it with water. What the heck is taking so long? You, you plant the seed and you leave it and you let nature do its thing. So you're lost. Okay, I'm lost. I don't know exactly where I am right now. Let's chill. Let's be still. Let's be soft with ourselves. Sometimes the solution presents itself in front of us. You don't need to do a whole list of life goals right now if being lost is pretty daunting. You need to ground yourself first. What am I going to do when I'm lost? I'm in the dark. I don't know left from right, up from down. What am I going to do? Write down life goals? I can't find the pencil. I can't find the pen. I'm in darkness here. Sit down. Wait for some daylight to pop in. Wait for some moonlight to show itself through the cracks so you can see where the left is. You can see where the right is, and then you can make a decision after all. We get so caught up in wanting to move so fast all the time that it's no wonder we find ourselves lost sometimes. But this is the opportunity to reorient. This happens to everybody, creative people more than most. One thing we have to realize and that I have to realize is that we're always embarking into the unknown and there's always going to be a decision where we don't have enough information. We never do. We know as much as we know and you take a bit of a leap and you see where it gets you. And if it's, it doesn't get you exactly where you wanted, which it rarely does, then you tweak a little more and you tweak a little more and you tweak and you tweak. What else is life other than moving and tweaking and stepping a little bit in each direction to see where you can really find your path and your way? 
My friends, if you feel lost right now, the last thing I'd invite you to do is beat yourself up. Notice that critic within you that says, yeah, you should be going somewhere. Why are you lost? Why don't you just do the thing? Why don't you be like everybody else? Find a purpose. Just find a job. Just do this. Just do this. What's wrong with you? I can't believe you made that decision back then. That's why you're lost in the first place. You really messed up this time. Be aware of that voice. You know, there's that exploratory nature in you, I'm sure. Because if you listen to this podcast and you followed me for a while, you know that it's in me. And those who deal with depression and anxiety, such as myself from time to time, um, that's part of us. We're seekers. We're big thinkers. Uh, we go deep. We go real deep. We pay the price for it sometimes. But we're sensitive to the world and we're sensitive to our environment, which is why we get lost in the first place. Because we're always moving. We're always moving. We're searching. We're checking stuff out. What, are you going to be mad at yourself for trying the fruits of the trees? Maybe you got so caught up in the beauty in the moment and you're trying tree by tree and you're eating fruits and eating fruits and trying plants and then... And then you look around, you're like, oh, shoot, I followed the trail of berries for too long. And now, whoops, I got to find my way again. Could be that you were just enjoying yourself so much that now you're in a different place. What do we do when we're in that place we don't know? Okay, just remember, grab the eagle talons and see where you are. And if, you, if that's too soon, wait till the moonlight and sunlight comes into where you are. Reorient yourself. Don't beat yourself up. We all get lost and this is a feeling that that I have to get used to because I like embarking on new adventures and I like to try new things and my life, and I'm sure yours, it's not a straight trajectory. Nobody's is. We find ourselves in these moments all of the time because life is unpredictable. We're throwing curveballs all the time. And sometimes I ask for curveballs because I get bored of happiness and I get bored of routine. So I like curveballs and I like the feeling of being lost. Part of me really enjoys it because what is it? You really get to know who you are and where you are when you feel lost. My friends, this isn't a bad thing for you. Try to see it in a different light. Try to see it as you as the adventurer and seeker, you on the hero's journey that's just taken out his or her map just to see where you are for a little bit. Take rest. Take rest when you need. There's no need to move right now. Set up camp. Make this your launch pad. Set up camp. Get a base, get a base camp going. Set up a fire here. Set up the clothesline here. You know, when we're camping, I was up north camping uh, this weekend, the mosquitoes were freaking terrible. But nonetheless, I was doing my cliff jumping and I love the adrenaline rush, but then doing some paddle boarding. And in order to set up your weekend, you got to set up camp a little bit because you know, hey, I'm here. I may as well be here for a while. Like if you're on a trip, you can live out of your suitcase, but what about at the Airbnb and hotel if you're there for a little while? You may as well take things out of your suitcase and use the dressers and drawers. You may as well. It makes it feel more like home. So stay a while. I set up the tent. We set up the firewoods going here. We set up the picnic bench going here. The barbecues are here, right? Set up a while. Stay a while. Be your own friend for now. And really look at yourself with being okay with feeling like this and being here. If we're here, you may as well put your feet where the ground are, or the ground is. Put your feet where the ground is. Really feel it. Wherever you are right now, be there now. What are you, are you, what are you doing? Cooking? You're in the kitchen doing dishes? You're making a grilled cheese naked? You're on the living room floor, bedroom, bathroom, in the car, walking on the sidewalk, biking on the road? Where are you? Wherever you are, be there. And know that the feeling of lostness is just like, ooh, okay. Let's check out the map. I like repeating myself in podcasts, so I'll say everything again for the 10th time. 
let it really sink in. Maybe that's the whole point. I just, I need to remind myself of these things. That's why I make these episodes. This is for me too. I'm not above you all in any way. I feel threatened by the lostness sometimes. Disoriented me. I got vertigo. I, oh, I'm just so dizzy. I'm tired. I don't know which way to go. Ah, I wish, I wish, I wish. I should have, I could have, I should have, I could have. What if, what if, what if, what if? Mm hmm. Yeah. Sit. What's the rush to change? Is there a huge rush for you to make a decision at this very second? At this very second, if you don't make a huge choice, is something really terrible going to happen? Probably not. So take rest in this feeling of lostness and know what it is. It is the adventurer's feeling brought down from your ancestors and their ancestors and their ancestors who left shore on ships, most likely. If you're in, the, if you're in North America, wherever you are really, we moved as people and we move and we move and we move and we rest and then we move. Take rest during the stages of rest, my friend. Let the lostness warm you. Let the darkness sometimes just be just that black velvet blanket that we've always wanted. Like George Costanza who wants to dress in velvet all day. Let it be your velvet. Gosh, even be prideful about it for a minute. That you're an adventurer and you're making your way and you deserve a little bit of rest. Now to end this podcast episode, thank you for listening. I'd like to invite you to click on something in the description. It's a link to join Zoom groups where you chat with me. I'm in the Zoom. There's like five of us. There's 10 of us. Um, join the newsletter so you get a notification in your inbox of when I'm doing my next Zoom call with you. You know, this is an impersonal way of communication, and I hope you, you got a little something from this. But one thing when we're feeling lost and we're feeling like we don't know which way to go, oh, how, how nice is it to chill with someone else in velvet, you know, to bounce ideas off of each other because a huge part is loneliness and that feeling that I'm lost and nobody else feels this way. When we have these groups together and when I chat with people and, oh, you're feeling that, oh, I know exactly what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. And that in itself reduces stress and cortisol. That reduces the feeling of loneliness. And what is loneliness? It's the feeling that what you do and share doesn't matter to anybody. How would you like it if people really cared about what you shared and really felt what you shared and have been there and maybe are there? And it's about meditating, reflecting, and connecting. That's what these Zoom groups are all about. And I hope to have one with you in a live stream uh, so I can meet you and we can chat. And... Um, I'll be creating some more content uh, in the near future, but I'd like to thank you for listening, and I hope this brought some comfort to your situation, my friend. It's a good thing. It really is a good thing. Chill on your launch pad. Just chill for a bit, and you'll know when to make the next move. Take care. This has been Scott St. Marie on the Being Human podcast. You know, <laughs> I can't even end this thing. It's been a month since I did a podcast. Uh... One extra thing, you know, I don't think I've ever asked this on a podcast and I don't like asking anything from listeners. And this is part of me being very, uh, what do you call it? Uh, nice. But I'm going to say it right now. If you could, it would mean a lot to me if you just click the star on Spotify. If you like this podcast, give it a review on iTunes. That would mean a lot to me. And it's not like there's thousands of reviews and thousands of uh, stars. So what you do really, really makes a difference in something like this. You know, what am I going to do? Write a review on the Joe Rogan podcast? Who cares? But with something small, you can really make a difference in my life and the lives of others. By you joining the newsletter on Zoom, there's only a few of us. That makes a huge difference. 
And I think that's pretty special because we're not lost among all the fishies. That we can actually see each other and really hear each other. So if you want to do that, I'd, I'd really, really appreciate it sincerely. And, and thank you for, for making it this far in the podcast. You're not lost forever, but while you're feeling lost, know that it's a good thing and, and chill for a bit. You got this, my friend. This has been Scott St. Marie. Take care. See you soon.